Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, today's City Hardware come down to get some nail for the um, concrete nail gun, but of course no stock. Haven't had any ordered new stock in since the day they um, they brought the guns in years ago. Right, so today I'm showing you windows. The other day I showed you something else, today I'm going to show you windows. It's electrical power points in that last week. Now, these ones here are ready made. This is like what we stuck in the maids room is this type of thing here. They're, um, they're quite a good little window. Some of these are pull-outs, pull-ins. So these ones are quite good as in the respect that you can just fit them straight in, in that respect. They're quite good. Where when, when, when a lot of us build our houses here, you go down to the glass. Do you like my new haircut? She did that swan. So you go down to the, um, the glass guy and he'll come up and he'll measure the sliding doors or your windows or whatever and they make them all up. But the trouble is when they make them up, there's so much gap. So you used to got weather strips in between and all that. These are nice and tight. These the ones like in our home, they were made up and they're as loose as anything. Andy had the same problem. He had to put the weather strips down the side. Same as I did in a, in a games room. They got these, the weather strips that fit the bottom of the doors and they're like um, thousands of little paintbrushes all joined together type thing, you know? So I put those all along the bottom all along the bottom of the games room and along the top to keep all the mosquitoes out and Andy had the same thing with his um, house the container house so he put them same as what I did but he put them on the side here to keep all the mosquitoes coming through but these brought ones there's never an issue with these these are really really good now they're nothing like the ones in um, when I was in um, Austria where the windows can actually open outwards or they can actually tilt up you know all in one one hit they're not like that but i'll give you a look at the prices here so you can see what the ggo is right so here we go here okay this is 1.2 by 1.4 sliding 6650 okay this one here's 75 75 that's 1.2 by 1.6 I said they're not bad, they're not bad at all. Not too bad. Here's another one here. This is 1.2 by 1.2, 8,250. So just to give you all an idea on what, what these ready-made windows are like. Now in the old days here, what they used to have, here's a slimmer one here. This is 120 by eight for 6,700. Well I said, they're the ones I put into the maid's room and they're quite bloody good. Now, a lot of people here in the Philippines, okay, when they build their houses, you see when we picked up the bamboo, they had that um, sheets, eight foot by four foot sheets, and they're like um, different patterns, and that's what they use for their windows, no glass or anything like that. Another way that they do it is this type here. This is an older style. There's security plus a window in one, and you just put your glass in behind here and seal it all in. That's another old style, is this one here. This one here, look, this has got um, security grill on it as well. And this is 1.2 by 1.2, 8,470. So we had to order all ours and get them all put in separately when we did ours, because like I said, they made them all up. So we wanted all ours on the inside, all the bars on the inside. We don't want people to you know, look like a fucking jail, if you know what I mean. So here's another type of one here, 1.2 by 1.4, 7,250. This All right. one has screens. And yeah, they've got screens with it as well, this model. So th they're not too bad at all. Okay, so let's try and find some bigger doors. Here's some bigger doors here. Bigger doors, bigger doors, bigger doors. So here's some larger ones. Oh, so, so they've got the screen, but the main thing you see, they've got the weather strip here. The ones they make up like ours at home, there's no, there's no fucking weather shield, there's no nothing at all. There is loose, when the wind blows, they rattle like anything. You feel like sticking a wood chock in there to, you know, stop all the rattling and all that. But um, that's what they had in them days. You know, that was like seven years ago, wasn't it? Mm. Built the house. So um, these ones now though, they do have a very good variety. But of course, when you build your own house like we did, and you designed it, we got an architect to design it all up, and this is what's the size doors that we wanted. And our doors are actually probably about, probably about two meters wide, a meter wide each each door. So that's the thing. But nowadays there are getting different stock in. 
Well, I said, and it is, it is getting better. It is getting better. Here's these ones here, look. French window styles. So that's not a bad price here, hardwood, the ones there too, for design ones. Okay, you got all your trims and all that. Now one thing they do here, is when they put your, when they put a doorway in, they don't put trim around the side, like these are your, your bottom skirting ones here, but they don't put any, any um, what do you call it, um, around the sides of the doors, any skirtings, they don't put anything on them whatsoever. Nothing, 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 nothing. So the doors are pretty plain. So there's a large one, like I say here. 180 by 210. This is 12,965. And that comes in with, um, that comes in, like I say, with a screen door and all that stuff. So this is what you get in the Philippines, guys. So if you're interested in say, what have they got here? Well, that's a nice solid door, look at that. That's very good. Door steel. 9,740. Wow, how's that? And see, we've got its own framework. So this just fits straight into the hole, guys. Look at that. Just fits straight in. And they used to have was the security doors. Like um, when we built our panic room, they didn't have those ones. And here they are here. This is these ones here. This is the. Oh no, that's the framework. These um, they have the beautiful steel panic room doors where you've got the panic room bar to push to go out but when it closes automatically it can't can't lock in right let's keep going around i see these these videos just give you an idea if people are planning on um houses and so forth so these are all your doors we had all ours made by a uh, professional furniture maker all our doors so they're all solid wood a lot of these aren't so these 4635 for these doors Okay, it's just a standard, standard door, 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 standard door, door. Oh, here they are up here, up above us. Look, here we go. Okay. So, like I say, for indoor shit, it's 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 not bad. But three thousand. So, three one six, three one six, wooden door with a bit of carving on it for five, five two fifty, five two fifty. Everything's all up high, I'm afraid. So they're cheap, but they're they're only just for they're only just for indoor or indoor stuff, guys. They don't take the weather or anything like that at all. But compared to what they used to have here, you know, like just your standard doors look quite standard. And what I used to make up was a um used to make up a purse peak jig that sat on here that was cut out for the hinge and had a piece of uh, wood on the side and I'd clamp that onto here and then the router I'd set to the thickness of the hinge and I'd just run that inside the, the purse pegs and it's a cut out of the hinge and it just cuts the hinge out perfectly. You just use the chisel to do the corners. Very easy to do. When I, when I done some building in Thailand, when I put the extensions on the house there, he was gonna get out the chisel and um, chisel, chisel. I said, hey, stop. And I had some old purse pegs around so I cut that up and uh, put it on, he goes, wow, that's so quick. I said, Duh. So four or five, this one here is 90 by 210 by 40 millimeter thick, is these ones here. So that's your pricing there. So different ones, I said we had all ours done by, um, how much were your doors? The solid wood ones, by the furniture makers? The Roughly. The front door is 22. 22 for the double doors at the front? Uh, the the jam uh -huh. and the toilet doors that's 2700 that's Jimilina uh, variety and the bedroom doors that's another variety hardwood that's um, 10,000 11,000 10 11,000 so you get what you pay for you know look here's all hardwood solid wood and all that type of stuff so um I well, said so they're getting all this shit in now, this is for when you make up all your own railings. Now if you go to Thailand into um, do home and that, they have a complete aisle which is four times longer than this and it will be all the steel fittings, all the stainless steel fittings and you just make up all your own fences and gates and all that stuff, you just make it all up yourself. But here of course they've got fuck all, 
you know, absolutely. But they're slowly getting there. Like I said, in Thailand, you'll see a wall, no, seriously, it would be at least three, four times longer than this. With all the size piping of um, stainless steel, it will have all the fittings, every fitting you can think of. An area this big of just rollers, all types of rollers to bolt onto them. You know, Do Home in Thailand has everything for the builder. It's just fucking incredible. Dave the Dasher, you are a lucky man. But uh, they're slowly starting to get this stuff in here. These are plastic, don't they? They're plywood. Where's the placky door, son, that they use here for their toilets and showers? They have a placky door. This is it, PVs. This one, there they are here. Now, these ones is what they use for their toilets and all that here. Okay, because their toilet, remember, the toilet would just be a bowl on the floor and the shower would just be a cold water nozzle and I'll, I'll have a bucket. Like, it you can know? be wet. Yeah, so they call it the wet, wet one. And so that's why they have plastic on these. Because when they stand there, of course, they'll have a dump, then get up and they'll just pick up the water and just throw it over their head and have a shower. So water goes fucking everywhere. And that's why they have these plastic ones. 1,790 for these. Okay, let's see what these ones are. They are, they're, they're the, um, these are the steel doors that I was talking about, okay? These are the ones that I wanted to stick on the uh, panic room, but they didn't have them at that stage. So one day when I win lotto, softy begging. I'm learning from the hog. Okay, but these ones are very, very good. They come complete ready to go. So different guns, just paint them up anyway. So you've got your push to go out and on the inside there. But they're quite good. Good, um, good for your panic room, guys. And that's the price, 18,000, 18,900 is the price of those. So there you go. So that's just a video on doors. And next time we come, we'll do another video. This is on doors and windows, sorry. Next time we'll do a, um, a video on bathroom fittings for you. Now they have all these great things like, they have all these lovely things, look. Quite nice sliding doors, look. Put in. We had all ours made up, and the um, trouble is they use the same roll as what they put on um, the windows and glass doors, and of course you have a lot of strength, heat, what do you call it, um, weight in these type of things. Nice. You have a lot of weight. So this is a little corner one, look. So the price of that is 17, no, it's 18,000 for this one here. 18,000. These round ones here. But you see, th these, these look good, but the point is you've got to have the water system to supply it all and that's the thing if you haven't got the water system to supply it forget it you know these your hot tubbies spa bathies we were going to go for something like this originally it's what we oh fuck my dog we we're going to go for something like this originally we ended up as you know we got something that was um something like two heads two heads wide on those and the price of these ones look 36 yeah. pounds this one here, 48. That's the one that we got like that. That's the one there. So there's one eight by 12. But I'll do a separate video on all this stuff on the next time we come. So if if anyone who's um, got got any request, and they say, hey, can you do a video on 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 the bathtubs, on uh, the toilet systems, on whatever, just drop us a line and um, either in Chick's Facebook, which is called. Panabo Homestead Delhi. Panabo Homestead Delhi. And of course, all that information is down in the description box. So we've got our email address plus the Facebook. So if you need any information, if you're overseas and you say, look, Will, can you please check out hand basins for me, different sizes. I want to have a small one inside the um, toilet, the secondary toilet or whatever, or whatever, whatever, please. Send us and we will do a video for you. That's no problem. Oh, look at that handsome man, Dals. Remember, if William can't fix it, no one can. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Please share, subscribe, and buy. And more videos coming. If you're building in the Philippines and like some information, just let us know.